friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my bookish life and today's my birthday. <laughs> and I have been spoiled. <laughs> so let's get to it. <laughs> I've just been showered with gifts. Every time I saw a box come through that I did not remember ordering, I kind of just set it aside. And it was, <laughs> I just, I, thank you to anyone who took the time to wish me a happy birthday, to send me something you absolutely did not need to do this. Uh, the first one that I had actually had two books in it and one was in a bag so I haven't seen this one yet but then the other one was for my class so I brought it back home so that I could show All 13 by Christina Soontervant Soontervant this is just a beautiful book uh, I read it back earlier this year and it is about the 13 soccer players, well, 12 soccer players and their coach, the soccer team, that were trapped in a cave in June of 2018. And all 13 uh, got out alive. And it's just this harrowing adventure beyond belief. It is a Newbery honor book, well-deserved. It's a wonderful story of survival and faith and hope. I just love it. Um, so the note says, I believe that children will learn a lot from this book. I hope your students will enjoy the reading experience. Happy birthday from Abigail Raphael. So that is, she is one of my dear subscribers from Israel. So... Thank you so much, Abigail. Uh, also, this is from her. She says, happy birthday. This novel is one of my favorite books from last year. Enjoy the reading from Abigail. I am. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh. Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen. By Sarah Addison Allen. Oh my goodness. This is definitely one that I so wanted to get my hands on. I loved The Peach Keeper by her. Um, I have other birds that I just got from Book of the Month. I'm so excited to have this in my hands. This is actually... Her debut, it looks like, on the back here. So this says, the Waverleys have been a curious family endowed with peculiar gifts that make them outsiders in their hometown of Bascom, North Carolina. Even their garden has a reputation for the Waverly history is in the soil, and so are their futures. Ugh. I mean, I didn't know how much I loved magical realism until I read Sarah Addison Allen. <laughs> this is, ugh. Thank you, thank you so, so much. This is a wonderful, wonderful surprise. So, I'm gonna open this one. Set that aside, okay. This, oh, I bet it's on. It's not on here. There's there's nothing written on here. I don't, I don't know who it's from. Actually, I think I do know who this is from. There it is. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it says, happy birthday, love bug. Enjoy your day from Destiny. Destiny is one of my subscribers. We have really become friends through Krista's patron, um, patron book club. She's just a wonderful, wonderful person. And she sent me this. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's hardcover. Oh, oh. <laughs> yay! Oh, this is Last Chance Books by Kelsey Rodkey. Oh. Uh, OK, 
Okay, so I'm I'm a sucker for anything in a bookstore. Those of you that know me know that. This says book lovers can be hated too as the tagline. <sighs> Don't you just love the smell of old books in the morning? I do, as a matter of fact. Thank you. Madeline Moore does. Books and More, the musty bookstore her family has owned for generations, is where she feels most herself. Nothing is going to stop her from coming back after college to take over the store for from her beloved aunt. It's her destiny. Well, it was. That is until a prologue. A prologue opens across the street from B&M. A chain bookstore on their block. Oh, how you've got mail does this sound? Ah, I'm so excited. Brand new books with that brand new book smell you won't find anywhere, especially across the street. B&M, buy books from better looking employees. <laughs> Oh, yay. Thank you so much, Destiny. Look at this. Oh, oh, the X talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This has a podcast element to it. I'm so into podcast elements. Oh, it's not podcast. It's radio, but oh my gosh. See. Oh no. Oh. Okay, so this just says a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. Um, it does not have a name on it. So um if this is from you, please let me know because I definitely thank you. Shay Goldstein has been a producer at her Seattle public radio station for nearly a decade, and she can't imagine working anywhere else, but lately it's been a constant clash between her and her newest colleague, Dominic Yoon, who's fresh off a journalism ma master's program and convinced he knows everything about public radio. When the struggling station needs a new concept, Shay proposes a show that her boss greenlights with excitement. On the X Talk, two exes will deliver relationship advice live on air. Their boss decides Shay and Dominic are the perfect co-hosts, given how much they already despise each other. Neither loves the idea of lying to the listeners, but it's this or unemployment. The audience gets invested fast, and it's not long before the X Talk speaks X Talk becomes a must listen in Seattle and climbs podcast charts. Mm, so fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, whoever sent this. Um, yay. <laughs> All right. And then I just have one more. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. So I opened this. I have not looked in it yet because um, I just opened it. And I saw that it was books, and I knew I didn't order them. Let's see. I don't, oh, okay. There it is. Oh. <gasps> Happy birthday, Amy. I wasn't able to access your personal wish list, so I thought this would be a great time to support your classroom. Such a great middle grade book. Hope your students enjoy. From Amy at A Star Reads. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness, Amy. There's two books in here. <gasps> there's two of these. Okay. I really enjoyed the adult version of this book, so I hope that your students enjoy the YA adaptation. Pretty cool that authors do that. Happy birthday, Amy, from Amy at A Star Reads. Oh my gosh, what is this? Let's do this first one. <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Hearing Amy rave about this book, Wild Lore, uh, The Accidental Apprentice. Oh man, I'm so excited to have this on my shelf. Amanda Foodie is the author. Sorry, I was so excited. I forgot to say that. The last thing Barclay Thorne ever wanted was an adventure. Thankfully, as an apprentice to the town's mushroom farmer, Barclay need only work hard and follow the rules to one day become the head mushroom farmer himself. But then Barclay accidentally breaks his town's most sacred rule. Never ever stray into the woods, for within the woods lurk vicious magical beasts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Amy just loved this book. And it, like, 
automatically went on my shelves hearing her talk about it. I cannot wait for my students to read this. I know at least one of them has read it and really, really enjoyed it. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Okay. And then one more. Oh, I know what this, oh my gosh. Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. I, oh my goodness. This actually, one of my students recommended to me and it just, it sounds so powerful. Uh, so this is an Olympian's journey from airman to cast, to castaway to captive. So we have, um, Louis Zamperini's breathtaking odyssey and the courage, cunning, and fortitude he found to endure, endure and overcome following a devastating plane crash over enemy, over enemy territory. Lavishly illustrated with more than 100 photographs and featuring an exclusive conversation between Laura, and Laura, Hild Laura Hillenbrand and Louis Zamperini, Unbroken will introduce a new generation to one of history's most thrilling survival epics. <sighs> this... Oh... Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so floppy. Oh, look at how beautiful this, this, uh, this is gonna be narrative nonfiction. I am sure it's going to be one of those books like All 13 and Boys in the Boat where you feel like you are reading <laughs> a novel and you're absolutely not. I am so excited for this to be in my classroom. This was a favorite book of somebody. So he would have graduated high school last year. So five years ago. So five years ago, this was one of the favorite books um, among my graduating eighth grade class. He had gotten it from his grandfather and just raved about how wonderful it was. So that is how long this has been on my list. I'm so, so excited to have it in my classroom. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is definitely going to be great for all of my students that love survival stories. <laughs> there are so many of them. Oh, so great. I just, I feel so incredibly spoiled, so incredibly blessed. Look at at. Well, I'm going to put that up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to put the ones from Abigail together just because they're different sizes. But oh, holy cow, how spoiled do I feel right now? Absolutely spoiled. I would love to know what all of you think of these books. How many of you have read these books? Did you like them? Where should I start? Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much again for thinking of me, for thinking of me. I just, man, um, I just was, I, and I was spoiled by my students today too. They surprised me with cupcakes and just showered me with all kinds of love. It was, it was, I just had a really great day. You know, if you have to work on your birthday, I mean, working at a school, pretty much the best place. I don't know. I'm biased, but <laughs> that's all I have for today. I will have my August wrap up coming up soon. I promise. <laughs> I hope that you like this video. I hope that you're finding something wonderful to read. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.